everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I have a really fun card for you today. This is the first time I've ever made one of these. It's called a slide and lock card. So this little piece slides down on here, and when you take it off, it will open up. All right, so it's got this little mechanism that is really, really easy. All you need are some squares. You need four squares that are two by two. I'm gonna show you how you score them, and then you can slide this down onto your card. Of course, it's gonna misbehave on the video because that's what we do. There we go, and it slides down. Isn't that gorgeous? So I'm using the new Irresistible Blooms bundle. This is an online exclusive. I'm also using the coordinating paper, the designer series paper that is also available only online. Um, if you click the link here on YouTube, go back over to my blog. I'll have all the supply list and measurements for you on a free PDF that you can download. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is create our little focal point, okay? All right, I have a quarter sheet of shimmer cardstock taped down to just a piece of chipboard with some painter's tape. I'm going to take just a clear block, pick up some gorgeous grape ink, take my water painter, and just kind of add color to this sheet. Now, I'm going to use most of this sheet. We're going to cut out a circle. We're going to cut out um, one of the little... Uh, oh, I don't know what you call it, a sh texture shape type die um, from the Irresistible Blooms um, piece. So go ahead and try to cover most of it. You want your brush strokes to kind of show up. And the more water you use, the, the less dark it will be. So I try not to use too much water. But if you don't use water, sometimes you'll get these hard marks kind of like that I got right there. Um, I like to do layers of color, so I'll give it some time to dry, and then I'll come back and add some more. Another thing that I like to do to my watercolor paper when I'm making it just a texture piece is to splatter some water on it when it's done um, to kind of give it some water drops. Um, and then the other thing that I like to do sometimes is to take some salt, like kosher salt, you know, the kind of the big chunky salt, and sprinkle it on there while it's wet. Now I've got a piece that's finished to show you what that looks like right here. So you can see where these lines are right here are when I came back and added a second layer and a third layer. And then these little dots right here are from the salt. So play around with your paper, um, let it dry, add more color, let it dry, add more color until you are satisfied with the intensity of your piece. Now we're gonna cut out a circle from here, from one of the, one corner or, or the other. And then we're also gonna take this piece right here from the Irresistible Blooms dies and cut out a piece to put on our circle. So we're kind of adding extra texture. This piece right here, I want to be a sticker. So I'm gonna put adhesive sheets, little pieces of adhesive sheets on the back. So when I cut it out, it will just be a sticker that I can peel off the back and stick onto our circle. Okay, now before we bring over the cut and emboss machine, we're gonna do some stamping. I've got um, soft sea foam and pear pizzazz ink, and I'm going to stamp two sets of, dot, of leaves. Actually, I'm going to just do this one once and do this one once. Okay, you're also going to need to cut out two um, soft sea foam um, borders like this from uh, the dies from the uh, contour scallop dies, I believe. It'll be on the supply list. And you're also gonna to wanna to cut out a white hexagon from the uh, fancy, something fancy dies. And we're gonna stamp the hello right there in pear pizzazz. Okay, so we'll move those out of the way for now. Bring over our cut and emboss machine. And let's do these pieces first. These are the easy, we've got the the dies that match, coordinate perfectly, cut those out for us. So just line them up. If you're worried about them jumping around, use some um, post-it tape or even post-it notes. will hold them in place as you run them through. When um, your clear plates get kind of warped, sometimes it makes your dies jump around a little bit. They don't stay in place. So right now mine are pretty good. So I didn't really necessarily need to use that. Okay. Now these two, let's remember where our, um, 
I like to send this through the long way. So let's do, let's do this. I'm gonna just cut this piece off right here. When I have a long die, I like to send it this way through the machine rather than this way. It gives you more time, more pressure on each of those. So that's why I'm doing that. All right, and then up here, let's see if we can get it all to fit. We'll put that. Well, we're gonna have to turn things. I'm trying to see which part of the paper I wanna cut as the circle. And I kinda wanna do that right there. Okay, let's make sure one more time. We're on the adhesive, okay. And we'll just move that down a little bit right there. Well, I don't know. I think we're going to have to do them one at a time. Just not quite big enough to do them both at the same time. That's all right. I could probably have squeezed them in there, but we'll just do this. Safe and sorry. I went through twice just because we've added the adhesive. It makes that piece a little bit thicker. And... Uh, Plus the paper is just kind of, um, it feels a little bit thicker than other paper. I just wanna make sure it cuts all the way. So I'm gonna take these and poke them through. They're not gonna stay stuck together because I didn't cut them up here. Some of them will stay together and some of them will pull apart separately, depending on where exactly we cut it. But that's okay, it doesn't matter. You'll see why in just a sec. All right, so carefully get all of that pulled off. Now let's do our circle. I kind of like this area over here. So let's do that. Okay, now bring over those pieces and I don't know if I'll use all of them. Let's see, I'm gonna take that adhesive backing, and pull that off, pull any doodads that are hanging in there. This is just really gonna give our piece just kind of some texture. All right, this one feels like I didn't get the adhesive sheet. Well, let's just take that one off, take that one off, and we'll use these right here. That piece needs to go, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna put these, I'm gonna run them up straight like that. Did I not get the adhesive off of this one? No, nope, I didn't. Let's see where it is. Sometimes when the paper is the same color as the adhesive, it's hard to get it off because you can't tell. Oh, now we're just, now we're just being stubborn. Okay. Now, let's try sticking that down like that. And let's use a little bit more. We've got some more here. I'm gonna pull out those inside pieces that are supposed to be gone. And pull the backing. I mean, this is just kind of an abstract, fun way to use these dies. All right, now let's take this one and put that right there. Again, I think I left the adhesive backing on. Let's see if I can get it to peel off. All right, well, for the sake of the video, guys, I'm moving on. Oh no, look, I can see it's coming off. Okay, there we go. Peel that off. Now everything is stuck down. So now go around the back and just trim it to match the edge of your circle. Okay, now let's get all of this out of here. And now we've got a really fun, kind of bold, watercolory, textury circle. And we're gonna layer these things on here with dimensionals. So we'll start with our hexagon. I'm gonna put it kind of down here in the bottom. And then I'm gonna layer these. I'll put one like that and one like that, like that. And then we'll grab our soft sea foam ribbon. I like this ribbon, it's very light and airy. All 
All right, grab your glue dots. And let's put that right there. Okay, so there's our decoration. Now we're gonna put together our card. We also need to do some texture stamping on these pieces, if I can find my grid paper. Um, these are soft sea foam, and I'm gonna take again that pear pizzazz ink and use the texture stamp and just kind of add in some texture. And you know what, that's dark, let's do this. Stamp off, stamp on, yes, I like that better. Stamp off, stamp off, stamp off, stamp, stamp off, stamp, like that, okay? Maybe instead of stamping off, you could use soft sea foam if you wanted it lighter. But I think I'm gonna stick with this for now because soft sea foam might be a little bit too light. Now, before I put that away, let me grab, I have a piece of cardstock that goes on the inside and I'm gonna stamp and stamp off both on that corner right there. All right, now we have a card base. It is five and a half by eight and a half and I've scored it at two and an eighth on each side. Um, I have two pieces of our designer series paper and we're gonna adhere these to the front. Whichever pattern you like will be fine. And we'll stick these right there. And it's kind of hard to see, it's so light. There we go. All right, and we're gonna put the borders that we just cut here on these outside edges. So I'm gonna put one right on the edge, like that. And the other one, like that. Okay, and our little white stamped piece is gonna go on the inside. All right, there's your card. Now we're gonna make the little slider mechanism. You're gonna need four two by two pieces of soft sea foam. Two of them you wanna score at one so that it's folded in half. And we're gonna take these and adhere them down to one of the other squares like that. All right, so get your adhesive, and we're gonna put adhesive there and there. So now I wanna match those corners, get that on there straight, and then take this one and put that right there. All right, so that's what it looks like. What we're doing is we're gonna take these and they're gonna be sandwiched between another square and that's gonna fit on there like that so it slides up and down like that. All right, so now take your adhesive again, set it right there on those both sides. And I've got purple ink on my hand, it's driving me crazy. I know, I hope it's not distracting. All right, lay this one right on top and right there. So this is what your piece looks like, okay? And so we're gonna kind of sandwich it in right there. Now, if your card bubbles up a little bit like mine does, lay, just make it, make it do what you want it to do. You're the boss. Take it and just take your bone folder and just kind of flatten it like that. And then this piece is gonna slide up and down. Okay, if I can, you know, it says, Erica, you're not the boss. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so last but not least, let's cover up our little mechanism. And I'm gonna use dimensionals. And I think I'm gonna be pretty generous with my dimensionals. And set our beautiful, gorgeous grape circle right there. And then it'll slide up and down. And it'll keep your card closed until you want to open it, slide it off, and open it up. All right, so then to close it, you just position those doors 
in between your folded piece and slide it down. What do you guys think? A really fun card. It's the first time I've ever made a slide and lock card, but it definitely won't be the last. All right, click the link here on YouTube, hop over to my blog, grab that free PDF, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.